by name and expansion of this. Well, it's in the former sheet, but I should pay to note anyhow. 2 plus x to the power of 5 will equal it's 1 lot of times 2 to the power of 5, and then plus, and then we're going to have 2 to the power of 4 on just 1x, and then it's going to be plus 2 cubed and x squared. Each time those adding up to 5. But I need to know what the coefficients is, or are. What I could do is I could use NCR, I could use 5C1, 5C2, 5C3, but I think I'm going to use Pascal's triangle. So on 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So that gives me 1 for the first one, plus 5 for the second one, plus 10 for the third, plus 10 for the fourth, and that'll be 2 twos and three x's and then plus five times two times x to the power four plus and the last one's just one of them and it's all of those are now x's so that will give me 32 plus 80x plus 80x squared plus 40x cubed plus 10x to the power four plus x to the power of 5. That's good. And then for part 2, hence, so that needs to be from that, find the coefficient of y cubed in this expression. And as I can see, y cubed, this bit here, is my x. Everything else is the same. So basically, that is, I'm going to let x equals 3y plus y squared and that's that and I've got to find out the x cubed and so the, the y cubed coefficient and to get a y cubed that's what that is so x squared is 3y plus y squared times by 3y plus y squared that is 9y squared plus 3y cubed plus another 3y cubed plus y to the power 4 and that equals 9y squared plus 6y cubed plus y to the power 4 and then I can work out what x cubed is because the x cubed will also give me um, a y cubed and the only thing I need to work out is the y cubed term is th basically 3y cubed, which equals 27y cubed. And now we can work out what the y cubed coefficient is. So if I do it up here, y cubed coefficient. Well, I've got some y cubes here. Um, and that comes from my x squared. So I've got 80. Uh, it's going to be 80 times 6. I'll put in just myself. That's from my x squared term. And it's going to be, I'll do some red so you can see, I've got 40 x cubed. And x cubed gives me 27 y cubed. So uh, it's going to be 40 times by 27 and that's from my x cubed and um, and so what that will give us let's go back to here uh, that's 480 plus and that gives me 1080 and so that will equal 1560 that's my number and they would be that's the number of y cubed and that's question four done